we will start our course on distributed algorithm by an introduction to distributed systems and I am Saif Haridi, the leader of this course. So introduction to introduction to distributed systems. So what is a distributed system? A distributed system is actually a set of nodes connected by a network which appear to its users as a single coherent system. The nodes could be local computers, operating system processes, mobile devices, servers at data centers, and these machines can only communicate through a network by sending and receiving messages to each other. So if we look here, so this is our set of processes, P1 to Pn, we have a network and these processes communicate through the network by sending and receiving messages. And as you can see from this picture, we will mainly abstract the notion of a physical machine and use the term processes. So what is the focus of this course? The focus of this course is concepts. We want to understand the basic concept of distributed systems, in particular those concepts that are relevant to distributed algorithms, models. Uh, we will discuss and teach different types of distributed system models. Uh, you will see what kind of models we are going to, to, to discuss in this course and understand what are the basic services that we can build in each model. Uh, sometimes we use the word problem in the jargon of distributed algorithm to describe a service abstraction. So given a model a distributed system model, we will show which problems are solvable in this model and which are not solvable. We will discuss what are the core problems in distributed systems in general and how these could be implemented in different models. And given a service abstraction or a problem, what are the algorithms used to solve this problem? And the algorithm will depend on which model we are using and how to reason about the correctness of the algorithm. To reason about the correctness of the algorithm, we need also to be able to specify the service rigorously. And that's what we are going to do. We will also implement many of these services or we solve problems by designing a distributed algorithm. And in the labs, you are going also to implement these distributed algorithms in an event-driven execution model. So why do we study distributed system? The first observation is that distributed system are everywhere nowadays. So it is important from a societal and industrial point of view. Um, and you can see this because if you look carefully, you see the internet is actually distributed system, the World Wide Web is a distributed system, cloud computing is a distributed system, and now we also hear about edge computing where you have small devices connected to the distributed system. So the internet is a network of computers called routers that deliver messages to and from the edge nodes that are your and my computer on other services. Edge computing is where you have a lot of small devices like smartphones, sensors, meters, all connected together by a wireless network which in then connected to the internet backbone. A data center is uh, a container of cloud computing is a data centers which contain computing and um, 
storage resources, and they provide service 24 hours, seven days a week, like those, for example, hosted by Google and Facebook. And this is done through a distributed system, which actually just a set of machines connected by the network. Here we have a set of machines connected by the network. So in our case, we are going to abstract the physical characteristics of the network and just talk about processes communicating by, connected by a network. There is other reasons to also talk about distributed systems. And the reasons are more of a technical nature. We study distributed system and distributed algorithm also to improve scalability of a system, improve reliability, and because services are inherently distributed. So scalability is the use of a network of servers to serve multiple users and requests by adding new machines in that system we will serve more users and serve more requests reliability is when the same service is replicated across multiple machines or group of machines so that if some fail the others can continue the service Distribution or geographic distribution, these are systems like peer-to-peer -peer networks, distributed sensor networks, or even when you have a service that cross across that when you have a service that is deployed across multiple data centers. In fact, the study of distributed system is very challenging. Why is that? Because distributed system in fact exhibits two properties. And in fact, distributed algorithms that implement the services exhibit two properties. One is partial failure, the other is concurrency. Partial failure happens when the network drop messages or partitions or when some of the nodes fail. Concurrency is when you have a system where the nodes are executing in parallel and communicate by message passing asynchronously. Concurrency by itself is a domain of parallel computing, but distributed computing covers both partial failure and concurrency. And we need systems to work correctly even in the presence of partial failure and perform well with concurrent processes. When we study distributed system, we encounter a series of recurring problems. Some of them are easy to solve, and some are hard, or some are impossible to solve. And all of these depends on the assumption of what kind of system we are talking about. And that's what will be the study of the next unit.